right, so let's just get into the system as a whole. Got a lot of stuff laid out on the table here. And I know it looks like a lot, but I don't travel with all of this. I only travel with what I need at the time and what kit I want to get into. Just trying to show you a variety of what I have. Here it is. Here is the main component to the system. It is made out of, um, gosh, they're going to kill me, but I, I believe it's like a type of silicone product. And honestly, it's super durable and super tough. I get asked a lot, how tough is it? How durable is it? Well, it is very durable. I have ripped a couple of these covers, but it's my fault. I have not stored them correctly, so it was my own fault. But believe these covers sell for, I think, about $79. I maybe buy, gosh, two every, every two years or so. Or I have three. You know, I just keep a couple as a backup. I go on a trip with me, here's the best thing. You can't do this with an Icolite or an Aquatec. I can just fold it up. I travel with them in a mesh bag. The mesh bag helps the, the rubber to breathe. I make sure that I rinse them off a lot. Notice there's a blue one. This is the original Outtech system. This is actually for a big DSLR um, and a big, you know, 70 to 200 lens in there. I travel with a couple covers. These can get tucked up really tight and then from here I can throw this in my bag I can throw this in my checked luggage and it folds down real nice so these are the main components to the system I'm going to talk about a couple other things here depending on what type of photography you want to do underwater will kind of depend on maybe what dome port you want to use or flat port or, or what you want to use in general so there's two types of dome ports here there's the 120 dome port and the 180 dome port let me show them to you here on camera the 180 dome port and the 120 dome port. You can see there's a significant difference in size here. So you wanna use a dome port and you're not really sure why you would use a dome port in the first place and also which size to choose. They have a 120 port and then they have the 180 port. So how do you know which one would work best for you? The larger dome port will help you to get better under and over water shots, split shots. It will have beautiful images where you have half underwater and half above water. You need a big dome port for that. That's the kind of photography you're wanting to do, where you do a half split shot like these, then you need a larger dome port for it. With that said, I've done many split shots with the 120 port, but you will get more clarity, more sharpness, and just a better overall image using a larger port than you would with the smaller one. Why would I choose one over the other? Well, it's portability, really. If I'm gonna go fly fishing and I'm out for a day's adventure where I'm on the river and I don't wanna carry a lot of bulk and maybe we don't have a boat with us, maybe we're just huffing it on foot. Well, if that's the case, I'll take this smaller port with me. It is lighter, it is more portable and it's gonna do a fantastic job. If I'm on a commercial shoot and weight is not an issue, I have all my equipment and we have an access to a boat, then I will take this larger port. So these are all made out of glass. It doesn't really matter what underwater housing you choose to use in the end. The most important thing is what you put in front of your lens, honestly. So if you're going to be going with this Outtech system, know that they're using fantastic glass and it really, really does make a difference. Let's say you're using the Outtech system for something a bit different. You're not gonna be using the Outtech system specifically for underwater split shots. Um, maybe you also just wanna use the system for wet weatherproofing or waterproofing your system. Then they make flat ports as well. This is a 77 millimeter filter thread. I can put this on maybe a 70 to 200, a 24 to 70. Many times when I'm out, if we're in some crazy weather and I still have to do my photo shoot, I can put a flat port on the front of one of my cameras and I can shoot with the flat glass port on. My camera still will not only be waterproof, I could throw this on the 70 to 200, I could be in a monsoon rainstorm and my whole camera system is protected. So these are the three main types of ports that Outtex offers. And again, they're really beautiful. They're super nice glass. You won't go wrong depending on what you choose and the best thing is you can you can buy a dome port and you can buy a flat port have both in your kit and if you need to switch it up half halfway through or if you needed to have two cameras rigged up one for weather sealing and one for underwater diving you could get it all um, sealed away with this outtech system